George is probably most famous for spearheading a lot of the early stages of the Human Genome Project. So he developed a lot of the first generation automated uh, uh, sequencers that kind of started the Human Genome Project and then has gone on to develop next generation sequencing technologies. Um, and that's, a lot of that work has been in just trying to discover the genomes and understand them. Um, I think for a long time, George has also, in parallel, started developing a lot of new technologies on how to engineer biology and trying to make the synthesis of genes and the engineering of biology easier and faster and better. I would say the lab in general is definitely more technology focused. Um, there have been a number of problems that have come out of the lab and continue to be worked on in the lab. Uh, but a lot of the focus has been developing of technologies to be able to discover new types of problems and, and, and solve existing ones. There's a number of things going on in the lab. So there's one of the big things is a personal genome project. There have been 10 volunteers sequenced so far and all of their medical histories are public, including their names and who they are. And also other things that have come from that are biological materials. So the, the production of stem cells from those people and differentiation into different tissues. So a lot of what we work on are human, uh, human stem cell lines for various types of therapeutics and also understanding of uh, dysfunction in, in medical cases. To a large extent, initially to get a catalog of, of who we are and how we differ and, and how that might apply to how we treat ourselves in medicine and also how we, uh, to some extent, engineer our own, our own systems and how that changes amongst the population. I think that's some of the initial applications and beyond that, who knows. Um, so, but it's, it's really kind of something that's necessary for this idea of personalized medicine to really take off and be understood. But you know, it's, it's at the very beginning stages and as technology improves, I think a lot of this will seem a lot less fantastical, I guess. We also work on a lot of biofuel related aspects. So more on the bacterial and, and uh, algae side. Um, we have a center for uh, trying to discover uh, novel pathways to make better biofuels. So the lab's very diverse in its applications, but I think the unifying theme is technology development to get at some of these problems that have been a little vexing. A lot of it has to do center around the manipulation and of DNA and, and, and detection of DNA. So um, obviously PCR, a lot of PCR and, and PCR machines, but also you know running a lot of gels, both Agros and Page, and 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 just visualization. Um, mostly DNA-based technologies, but everything from high throughput sequencing and sequencing technologies to um, essentially high throughput syn synthesis in the form of chips. You know, there's only so many people and, and so many hands, and so everything we do is try to, how do we reduce the time that we spend? I mean, just even in this example, running a gel takes time, and, and if we can increase that speed and, 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 and make it easier to analyze, that helps us in a lot of ways. When we had the opportunity to try the, the EZ system, uh, what ended up happening was basically everyone switched over to it, mostly because it was very fast and easy to use. There's no futzing really with uh, you know, zoom and, and focus. It, it automatically does most of that and sets the exposure. And the images are great. Geldoc EZ sits on our bench. And so it's right next to where we run our gels so we can quickly just see if our gels run long enough, um, which has really actually changed the way we use the gel imager. So we, now we don't just use it as our final picture, we actually just put it in there to check how far it's run. I would say it would take about five to 10 minutes in previous gels, but you know, each gel image now takes a matter of seconds. And if you're running through 10 to 20 a day, that adds up. And so it, it, it could easily save us hours in a day, it depends on the day. So while we like running gels, what we're really interested in, in is solving problems and developing technologies. And anything that saves our time on doing the day-to-day -day things that we're not trying to improve, per se, like taking a gel image, um, products that help us improve that, like the Gel.EZ, really help us uh, do science faster and better.